Question 17. Consider the following instruction sequence in a single issue, in order, five-stage pipeline, IFID, EX, MEM, and WB. And the opcodes, destinations, and sources are, are as they're listed here, and you have them in your example, uh, example uh, test. Question, how many data hazards does the ID stage need to detect for this instruction sequence? Now, you're probably familiar with raw hazards, read after write, maybe war hazards, write after read, or even wow hazards, the write after write, and things like that. But the question asks, how many hazards does the ID stage need to detect? Let's think about this for a second. If you've got a clock cycle, if when the first instruction gets kicked off, it's going to have this kind of a, of a look, assuming that there's one clock cycle per, per stage, but we don't, we're not going to worry about that for the moment. There's nothing to worry about on line one. On line two, the subtract operation, it's going to output something to R2 using R3 and R1. The problem is R1 might not have been written yet, so it might be reading before this writ writing has happened. So, give, for example, if the ID stage is here, the write back has not been completed when the ID reads that register. So R2 is not, R1 is not ready to be used yet. What do you have to do? You've got to pop a bubble in there or a stall of some sort. But anyway, the point of it is that one of them, one of the problems is this, this raw hazard right here between R1 and R1. So that's one of them. It's one um, uh, data hazard that needs to be detected. Now the second one is here, R1 is being written, and uh, it's using R2 and R3, but R2 has not yet perhaps been written. Uh, so it might be trying to use a, a, um, a value that's not, not, not ready to be, um, to be used yet, because it hasn't been written yet. And you can see that depending on how long the subtract takes and how long the multiplication takes, it might be an issue. But this is the write back for the subtract, where R2 would be written, and, and this is where the read would be done for the multiplication operation. The key thing to remember is the register reads occur in the ID stage. It's going to read the registers in the ID stage. You have to ask yourself, are there any attempts to read something that hasn't yet been written? Now, and those are the two cases. There's no other cases where this is the this happens in this particular uh, code sequence. Now, of course, there may be other issues that that are there may be other data hazards. There might be a, there probably are other data hazards that need to be dealt with. Um, however, as far as the ID stage is concerned, the only thing the ID stage has to worry about is has anything been has everything been written before I tried to read it. So. The answer to, uh, to question 17 is B. There are two, two uh, 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 data hazards to detect.